Hello and welcome. Today we're working on the idea of markup versus profit margin. Or markup versus margin. Another way to say profit margin is gross profit or gross margin or simply profit margin. There's three different ways to say essentially the same thing. Now we understand that a company buys products, they add a profit margin or a markup, and then they have a selling price that's higher than their cost. So markup is the idea of looking at things through the lens of cost. So if you say gross profit divided by cost, that gives you the markup percentage, how much we added to the cost. If we look at profit margin or gross profit, then we're looking at it through the sales idea. So the same profit divided by the sales would give us a different percentage. And so we profit margin is what we look at maybe on the income statement. So sales, is our selling prices all added up for maybe hundreds or thousands of items. And then our cost of goods sold is also called cost of sales. It's the cost of our products times all the products we sell. Sometimes you might hear this called cost of revenue. And then the gross profit would, sometimes we just say profit, but the problem is there's a net income at the very bottom of the income statement or net profit. So that's probably not a good way of saying it. So you'd say profit margin or gross margin or gross profit. And then you'd have the percentages based on that and you could have the calculate the markup percentage. So the profit margin is a different percentage than the markup percentage. Let me show you an example. Now, I'm gonna build everything based on these two numbers. So we're gonna assume that our cost is $20 and we wanna mark it up 50%. So we're gonna take the $20 times 50%. So we're gonna add a $10 profit or a markup of $10. And that's gonna be our selling price then of 20, our cost plus our profit of 10 or a markup of 10, and we're gonna sell at $30. Let's do the percentages based on this. We can say 30 divided by 30. We're gonna divide everything by the sales. So we're gonna set sales to be 100% and everything else is gonna be a percentage of that. So our 20 divided by 30 is 66 and two thirds. So it's 66.7, that six will repeat. And then what's our gross profit? Well, it's $10 divided by our sales. So it's 33 and a third percent. So our gross profit or our profit margin is gonna be 33% when our markup is 50%. So taking 10 divided by 20 gives you 50%, taking 10 divided by 30 gives you 33%. So both are true when we have a markup of 10 or a profit of 10 based on our sales, based on our cost. So let's look at an income statement from Apple. Um, the 2022, we have Apple, we have sales, we have cost of sales, we have gross profit. And then all the way down, we have net income. So that's our net profit. What is our gross profit margin? Or what's our gross profit percentage? Well, we could take our profit divided by our sales. So it's something like 43%. I'll do the percent in just a second. What is our markup percentage? Well, the same profit divided by our cost will give us a higher percentage. 76%. So let's make these percentages. So Apple in 2022 had a gross profit percentage of 43%. So every dollar they had in sales, they made about 43 cents. And in terms of, you know, the cost of their products and their markup, they took whatever cost they had and added 76% to that to get their selling price. So let's do a chart here that explains this. So let me get rid of these numbers here. So what we have is I built this income statement just like I did before, so I'm not going to repeat that. But how do you calculate just the gross profit percentage if you're given the markup? How do you calculate the markup percentage if you're given the gross profit? So here we, we see that markup is always going to be a larger number than gross profit. So in this case, markup is 50 and our gross profit is 33%. We saw that just a second ago. So what if our markup is 50%, how do we calculate gross profit? Well, we know it's 33%, but let's use the calculation here. To get gross profit, 
we're going to take the markup of 50% divided by <clears throat> 1 plus the markup of 50%, and it converts it to 33% gross profit. We see that here. What if it's 70%? Well, it's going to be 41.2% is our gross profit. Let's do the math here. Let's, um, it doesn't matter what our cost is. Let's say our cost is 100, so everything gets updated. And let's say our markup is going to be 70%, like we just showed. Well, we're going to add $70 profit, and then all divides out to be 41.2%. All right? What if our gross profit is 30%, what would our markup be? Well, here's our formula, markup. It's going to be gross profit percentage uh, divided by 1 minus the gross profit percentage. So the 30% divided by 1 minus the 30%, so that's 70%, right? So that's 42.9%. And what would it be if our gross profit is 50%? Then we'd have 100% markup. Well, let's, let's prove that. So if markup, let's make it 100%, then we'd have, if our cost, it doesn't matter what our cost is, um, if it's 100, then we'd add another 100. If the cost were 60, we'd add another 60, but we see the gross profit is 50%. So this is how you can convert from gross profit to markup, from markup to gross profit. I almost always use the format like this because I don't need to do several at once. But if you want to, there's formulas you can work. But you can always figure out the markup is the cost uh, divided by the cost, the gross profit divided by the cost, and the gross profit percentage is always the gross profit divided by the sales. I got several videos on markup and profit. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.